where are we guys welcome to double o heaven now if you're into building your very first double o gauge model railway and during this cost of living crisis you're looking into doing it on a budget most probably then make sure you follow this channel because i'll be going through my very first double o gauge model railway build and i'm doing it on a very tight budget because her indoors has got me on a tight leash if you know what i mean <laughs> But, nah, she's great, really. But anyway, without further ado, guys, you can see that I've made a little addition to my Thomas and Friends collection. And we've got Bill here and Ben here. Now, they've got these. I'll be honest with you right now. The description of them was, to be fair, the pair of them was a bit vague. Um, separate sellers. Now, Bill here, um, I've got out of the box for £51, including the postage. Um, description just says, Bill from Thomas and Friends. Ben here, I got for only £46, boxed, including postage. And again, very vague description, just says, Thomas and Friends, Ben, boxed. Um, both says used on the description. Um, so, yeah, I've not tested them yet, so we will um, get them on the layout in a bit and have a run around. But in the meantime, let's just have a quick look at them. Uh, to be fair, they do look in pretty good nick. They've got all their buffers. Bill is missing his um, coupling hooks, but that's not too much of an issue. But um, the wheels look all good. But, yeah, he looks in... Pretty good condition, other than the uh, coupling hooks at the front and the back. So uh, yeah, we'll give him a test in a bit. Let's have a look at Ben. Now the box is in pretty good condition, to be fair. So um, you never know. You never know. Now, for the price of these, I mean, I've seen these go working for between sort of 60 and 80 quid a piece. Um, so, you know what I mean? I did get them cheap. I did get them cheap. Now, Bill, look, uh, sorry, Ben, again, looks in pretty good order. He's only missing his back coupling hook there. But again, he looks in very good order. The wheel's looking good, Nick. I'll just show you here. Yep. That's Ben. Got all his buffers there. Yeah, he's looking in pretty good order, so. Yeah. We'll get these on the track and see how they work. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers out there may have noticed the odd little addition to the layout on the last episode. And uh, there has been one or two more, so I'll take you through them as well, and we'll get these on the layout. So, let's go and have a look. Right, okay, some of the first bits I'll show you is, um, I've added a few bush areas along the promenade wall. This is going to be the promenade. I'm not going to keep that building up the back there. That was the first attempt at a scratch build, unless I can do anything with it. Here's the promenade, we've got a beach bit here. This here is going to get changed, so ignore that. But, um, we've also added a few posters. Along the walls here. And also, on the station, we've added a few posters here. Now, I don't know if I've overdone the posters on the back here, but um, I think they look alright. And um, we've also added a signal box. Now, this is the uh, Thomas and Friends signal box, which I got in the box, and unfortunately, the uh, grating bit is missing from here. And also, if I bring you around, the steps are missing, so I don't know if this will be a permanent addition, but it'll do for now. It'll do for now. I've also added a little bit of signage 
just up here on the side of the corner shop and also just on the edge of that one there that's my little uh, smithy jar there I'm going to bring you over here I've also added a sign on the side of the butchers just there but without further ado let's see oh and before that actually yeah I'll just bring you over here <laughs> sorry again out of track here guys uh, I've added the gravestones into the graveyard and oh look who's creeping in the corner there yeah if you guys saw the live stream you saw there in the mystery box I got very excited about him when I saw him in there and I couldn't resist but put him on here but yeah these gravestones are quite effective I thought they looked quite quite decent But yes, let's um, see if these go. Oh, yes. Very nice indeed. I think Ben's going to catch up to Billy. So we'll speed them up a bit and we'll separate them slightly. But yeah, they both work very nicely. Right. <laughs> They've coupled on here. Let's move you off, Bill. Or Ben. And we'll move you further up. And we'll start you again. That's better. I think Ben's still going to catch up with Bill. I think Ben's probably the better runner out of the two, by the looks of it. But they both work nicely. I'm quite happy with that. He's going to catch him up again, look. Yep. We'll be pushing him around. We'll stop him up here. Quite happy with that. Well, guys, the old train cabinet's coming along. Now, I only bought this cabinet for, uh, I think, about fiver out of the charity shop. It's a very nice old one, but it works perfectly for storing all my books and pieces in it. So, this is my uh, Roco collection so far. Got a few carriages in there. There's a few of the others. There's a few more of the old trying coaches that I've got here. We've got some LNERs and some British Rails. You've seen better days on all of them. Some more rolling stock here. And yeah, my collection's coming along, guys. I'm quite happy with it. And considering I've not, I've not spent huge money. I've spent. I mean, this one here was only a tenner. It runs really nicely now. But yeah, Percy here was only seven quid. This Thomas here was only fifteen quid. So yeah, it just shows you the bargains you can get, guys. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune into the next episode because in the next episode I'll be building my very first super quick model which is the uh, station hotel model and I've been looking forward to building this so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and also the other day um, 
me and Tracy took a couple of nights away to a restaurant and we took a little trip on the uh, Norfolk Railway and um, spent a bit of time in one of the old uh, carriages there and also popped into one of the old toilets there and they had proper Thomas Crapper toilets so uh, I'll upload a video of that and show you the pictures of the toilets but anyway guys that's all for me to, from today stay tuned for the next episode and I'll see you all soon take care see you all later Well guys, we're here at Sheringham Station and we're going to have a little ride in an old steam train in a very old corridor coach. It's one of the very old ones. It's got the old door there which we can pull open if you wish. Got Ghost Rivers. She's had a busy day so she'll be asleep probably. There's Tracy there. She's been getting too excited all day.